Go for you. Blacklist, uh, it means a few things for us. Uh, first and foremost, it's the story uh, of a new terror threat that emerges and issues an ultimatum to the United States saying, get your troops off foreign soil or else we're bringing the war to you. Uh, and that touches off a crisis in which the president mobilizes a new blacker than black covert operations unit called Fourth Echelon. And she puts Sam Fisher in charge. Uh, and so really, not only is the game about that story, but it's also about how Sam finds himself not just the field agent, but now he's in charge. He's the one who's in control of Fourth Echelon. He's calling the shots. He has a team of people that he needs to work with and, and make an effective fighting force. In terms of the game itself, it's the biggest and most ambitious Splinter Cell release to date. Uh, we're introducing a lot of new game features, innovative and deep new features that are going to bring players back again and again. Broad player experience with a lot of variety and more game modes than we've ever delivered in a Splinter Cell before. For us, Killing in Motion is actually kind of a philosophy. It's, it says that Sam Fisher is the most elite operative in the world. So when he takes on different challenges, he can take all of these different skills that he has, he should be able to link them together in a fluid way, without breaks, without breaking the momentum. That means that he can move from target to target, he can move through the environment, he can go from a hand-to-hand -hand takedown to mark and execute, uh, and he can move into climbing, he can move into various 3D navigational paths seamlessly and with complete total efficiency the way you would expect Sam Fisher can do it. But what's great about it is this, these are skills that the player can master. You can get better at them. You can refine your ability to do killing in motion like Sam would. We're supporting all of Sam's gadgets with a unified economy system that links all of the different game modes together and then a customization system that allows you to spend that economy to update all of your weapons, all of your gadgets, even his op suit, even his goggles. So what that means is depending on your style of play, you can be spending that economy on customization that fits your particular approach. Uh, so that means that Sam's going to have access to really a, an enormous range of gadgets and technology. Um, obviously during the demo we showcase a few things. You saw the basic version of the goggles. Uh, you saw the fact that he has, uh, you know, access to some non-lethal weapons like the crossbow that fires the sticky shocker. You know, the, that's just the, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Uh, and in coming months, we're going to be re revealing a lot more about the gadgets that he carries. I'm bringing the UAV online now. Briggs, redirect to my current location. One of the things that we did with Blacklist is we really reconceived how performance capture and narrative fits into the game. So an important thing for us was to build a whole new pipeline for production around full performance capture. If you've ever seen what full performance capture looks like, you know you've got, you know, people are acting on a sound stage, they've got cameras on their faces like an avatar, uh, they've got motion capture suits, they're really delivering the full persona of the character and all of the physicality of the character right there on stage. So we knew going into Blacklist that we wanted to kind of start with our search for a new actor who's going to be able to embody all of those things. And we're super happy because we found Eric Johnson. He's a Canadian actor. He's got some good credentials in terms of uh, you know, science fiction shows that he's been on, so people do know who he is. Uh, not only that, he's worked with Michael Ironside, so we kind of got the Ironside seal of approval as well. We're absolutely bringing back co-op multiple modes of co-op, including a campaign mode, uh, and most importantly, we're bringing back Spies vs. Mercs, which was kind of the fan-favorite adversarial mode uh, that dates all the way back to Pandora tomorrow. So I think fans are going to be really happy with our version of it. Uh, we're super excited to start showing that to you in the coming months.